All right, we're here. We're gonna do a ceremony and a reception today. In there, we were just here for quinceanera like two months ago. So I am stuffed back here, best I can be. These are not mine, by the way. I have that much room. It is what it is. And I want you both to take a deep, deep breath, okay? It took a lot to get to this moment. And I want you actually to look around. Look at all of your family and friends. You can wave to them, okay? <laughs> there is no place else that all of the people that are seated or standing up here with you would rather be than sharing this moment with you. That was, without a doubt, the most fun wedding ceremony I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of. Very non-traditional, but it was good, it was fun. I didn't get a lot of video of that or anything else because I was very busy at this event. Not only was I bouncing between tons of genres, we're talking anything from cumbia and tejano to freestyle to hip hop to 80s party music to modern party music like at the flip of a switch the other thing is the planning process didn't go as planned now you I may have mentioned in the video that this is the same family that did the kids and Yetta for maybe I don't know t two months ago perhaps so I have a relationship with them they're nice people but they had a family emergency come up so we didn't have time to really plan much for this wedding and I told them I'm gonna be out of town for DJ Expo the week of the wedding so I need to do this before DJ Expo well it didn't work out because of their family emergency so I didn't get any information on this event as far as what they wanted and such until I was on my way to the Philadelphia International Airport on the Atlantic City Expressway on Thursday and it was in the form of a sheet of paper with handwritten notes that I had to blow up on a screen and transcribe and try to make sense out of. My flight was late. I didn't get in until very late on Thursday. And Friday, unfortunately, I had a funeral to attend. My extended family had a, a death. So that was a very busy day. So I'm trying to plan for this event and I'm trying to attend this funeral that's very important that I attend. Was I nervous? No. I wasn't nervous, but I was busy, and I've been busy. This is the first day I've had in over a week where I can just kind of kick back a little bit, so I'm, I'm doing that today. <laughs> but yeah, so didn't get a lot of footage at this one, unfortunately, and part of the reason for that is, along with the handwritten notes they sent me, she sent me a YouTube playlist called My Wedding, instead of me transcribing all of these songs onto a sheet of paper, which I would normally do if I got something like that. Okay, fine. I'd normally discourage getting that at all. But if I were to get something like that, I would transcribe it. I didn't have the chance. So I was literally scrolling my phone in her playlist just to identify the request and find them on my computer and play them. So there wasn't always a lot of time to pick up the phone. I go out of that screen into my camera screen to video, film, put the phone down, and go back to her text message with the link to her My Wedding playlist on YouTube. It just wasn't going to work out for me to do a lot of video. Very busy, very long gig. I went seven and a half hours total. I only had one setup though, so that was nice. And it's over. <laughs> so on to other things. I don't have any more epic seven hour or seven and a half hour events coming up so that's cool i do have some events coming up this weekend i think i've got a country club party and a wedding so two four i don't normally do two fours but the country club gig sounded like too much fun to pass up so i'm doing that anyway that's it guys that's the gig log oh what do you think of the love letters 
they made those. Felipe made those. The groom. I thought he did a pretty good job. I have no idea what he was using for lights in the love letters. I don't know. But there was a remote control. They were battery powered. And they flashed to... Uh, well, no, I don't know if they flashed to the music, but they flashed patterns. Or they could go all white. And he would take the remote and change them. He told me they were going to be there. And, and I think he did a pretty good job with them. Would I lug them around from event to event? No, I wouldn't do that. But for his event, they were, they were really cool. I think they really added a lot to it. I like the size. I like the lights they produced. I like the multiple colors, the way they were you know, flashing. I think it was a pretty interesting design. So thumbs up to Felipe, our groom from this weekend, on that. Anyway, we'll see you soon, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Take care, practice, and enjoy.